A brief glimpse inside the court, the media barred from proceedings. But later outside, the first reaction to the death sentence is... The verdict was not based on the evidence of the case. My son is innocent. He did not take part in this horrible terrorist act. The mother is crying that her son will be shot. She feels sorry. But I feel sorry for my boy too. He was only 40. He left a child behind. Belarus is the only country in Europe that maintains the death penalty. Dmitry Konovalov confessed to the bombing at the start of the trial. His childhood friend, Vladislav Kovalyov, is accused of being an accomplice. The pair are also convicted of carrying out smaller bombings in 2005 and 2008 that injured more than 100 people. The method of execution, a shot to the back of the head. It was one of the deadliest attacks in Belarus since the Second World War. The bomb exploded at rush hour, killing 12 and injuring hundreds. Prosecutors claim the men carried out the attack because they disagreed with the leadership of the nation's autocratic president, Alexander Lukashenko. But human rights activists say the trial is a farce based on weak evidence and forced confessions, an attempt, they say, to discredit the country's fragile political opposition. Lukashenko's faced repeated protests after winning a fourth successive term as president. International observers say the election was deeply flawed and the EU imposed travel bans on Belarusian officials. But Lukashenko remains defiant. He continues to hold on to power, frequently by force. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Moscow.